Hello, this is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be unboxing a Cricut Explorer Air 2 in lilac. I get a lot of questions from people that are trying to decide on purchasing their first Cricut and show you a step-by-step -step on what you do when you get your Cricut. And I'm going to be honest with you, I definitely felt overwhelmed when I first got my cutting machine because I'm really not tech savvy. And I felt so flustered trying to figure out everything since I definitely don't do well with new programs and machines. I actually got one as a gift a long time ago and never opened it because I didn't want to learn how to figure it out. But now that I finally did it, I'm so glad I did and it wasn't so bad after all. If I could figure it out, you can too. The Cricut should automatically come with a cutting machine and a USB. USB for your computer and another cord that's to plug the Cricut to the wall. I like to use my MacBook with my machines, which has Bluetooth, so I don't have to use it with the USB. If you want to directly plug it into your computer, you can use the USB cord they give you. Once most of it is unwrapped, go ahead and plug in the back of the Cricut to the wall to turn on your machine. You could open the Cricut with or without the Cricut turning on, with the open button on the side. Continue to remove anything else that needs to be unboxed. The Cricut should have a blade and housing already inside. You just need to open to take it out. And in the future, if you need to replace a blade or you want to use another blade, you could press the top and it releases the blade and I just pull it out with the plier. You don't need another housing, you just buy the blade replacement. Remember when you put the housing and blade back, you have to clip it back. The other slot, you could put other tools, and I like to use this scoring tool, which helps me score my boxes or cards. I usually make paper flowers, cards, stickers, and heat transfers, so I never really use any of the other tools or blades other than the basic ones here. Out of all the tools, I really just use this brayer, scraper, and weeder the most. And I believe they have a tool set that comes with a bunch of other things. The brayer I only use when my mat is getting too worn out. And it helps my paper or vinyl stick evenly onto the mat. Also, if your mat isn't as sticky, I have a tutorial on how to clean your mats and reuse them. And I will link that tutorial below. The mats also have different colors that indicate the stickiness level. And I actually really like this blue one that they give you best for paper flowers. Once you turn on your machine, there's this button with the arrows, which is to feed your paper. And on the machine on the bottom, there is a little slot that catches your paper on the side. So make sure you are feeding the paper correctly and press the arrow to feed the paper in. Now to download Cricut Design Space, it's actually pretty easy. You just need to go to their website. It's design.cricut.com and I'm using a MacBook, so I will be downloading the one for the Mac. You have to follow through downloading it correctly. You could also use this through your iPhone or iPad, but I prefer to use my computer since again, I'm not tech savvy, so I've feel most comfortable on my computer, but I have used the program through my iPad and it was fine too. I think the only thing that gets me tricky on your phone or iPad is when you download a zip file for templates. You just need to know how to unzip the files through your iPhone or iPad, which I prefer again to do on my computer instead. Next, I have some free templates that I'll be linking below, so I thought I would make my first cut with you with one of my free templates, and you could follow along with me using the same template if you like. I'll be doing this first day of school flag, and I downloaded the file first instead to show you how to upload onto Cricut Design Space. Make sure to download the file. Next, once the Design Space is downloaded and set up, I believe you have to make a profile and indicate which machine you have. Go to the top left corner with the three lines and the side tab should pop out and click on canvas. This will open a blank canvas where you could build your own designs by using shapes, letters, and download templates directly from the Cricut store. But if you want to use my free template or if you purchased any of the ones from my website and you have it downloaded and saved, go to the left second bottom that says upload. Then this new page pops up and you could upload all your files from your computer. 
When you press upload image, it will open another page that says browse. That's where you could drag your template. Once you upload your template, it will go back to the previous page and your downloaded template should be on the bottom and click on one of them and click on add. Then it will take you through a series of questions and I just do the simple option. Then typically all my templates already have a transparent background so you could just apply and continue. But this is a cool option because if you have any images that have a solid color, let's say white background, Cricut Design Space will help you take the background out. I also get a few questions on this where some people mistakenly use my sizing reference image as the template. But if you use any of my PNG file templates, the background should automatically be transparent. So you should never run into problems here. Then it will take you to this next page and I always like to color coordinate all my files to just give you a rough visual to see what color I like each template to be. But this does not mean that it is a print and cut. The color is just there for reference. So typically if it's green, you will just need a green paper and use the plain cut image option on the left here. Then it turns it black. Some of my templates do have a print and cut option, and if it is meant to be print and cut, then you could use this option on the right. Usually any of the ones that don't have a solid color flower will be a print and cut. If that is the case, you could use this option and the menu where it says to print, Cricut Design Space will connect to your separate printer. Then after it prints the pattern, you will take that to the Cricut and cut. Honestly, I don't love using this because I feel it's so much work to have them printed and then add them to the, my Cricut. So I only try to use this option for special occasions or like stickers where you print the illustration on sticker paper and then have the sticker cut through the Cricut. For the template I'm using, I will just use the cut image option. Then it'll take you back to the canvas with your template. And typically my templates are really big so it doesn't ever distort the resolution. Click on the template and resize accordingly. The sizing is on the top towards the right side. There is a lock button, so make sure it is locked. So when you resize it, it does it accordingly and you could just change the width and it will auto resize the height along with it. When you are ready, click on make it on the right top corner. Then make sure your Bluetooth is connected to the right machine. I have a few different ones, so I am clicking on the Cricut Air. Then when you continue, you can find the different options, but since the Air has the dial on the machine, you just need to make sure the dial is on the right option. I am using cardstock, so I have the dial on cardstock, but you could customize it, which has the option on the dial also. I just put it on cardstock though. Then when it's ready, make sure your mat is also fed into the machine. The C button should flash. Go ahead and click on that. Then the machine should start cutting. And I think there was a faster option that you can also click on in the menu, but I always like to do everything regular. I have pushed the faster option at times, but I'm just scared it might ruin the paper or my project just in case. So I just do everything regularly. It's definitely quiet enough to use in another room while my little one is sleeping. I think it's going to take about two minutes to cut this. And although it felt like a lot once you went through uploading the template, all you need to do is save this project and you won't need to re-upload and resize the next time you open this project. However, you do have to do this each time you have a new template, but it's much quicker than when I did it on here since I was just trying to explain what each page was saying. So just letting you know what to expect. Once the machine is done cutting, it will feed you back your paper, but you have to press on the arrow button again to release it. Then slowly take your paper off the mat. And this is when I use my weeder often. To grab the corners without me using my nails or hands, it's pretty clean when my weeder grabs any of the corners. There is my first day of school flag that I like to make and add onto a stick for the first day of school photos with my little one. 
So with the weeder, you can also grab the little letters, but actually these letters are just left over. So I'll be just using the scraper for the little bits like this to scrape off quickly off the mat. Don't forget to put the plastic cover back onto the mat so no dust or other things get on it. This will help your mat keep its stickiness as long as possible. Again, if your mat loses its stickiness, you can find my tutorial on how to clean them. Next, don't forget to save your project and check out my templates along with my tutorials I have with lots of paper flowers, some stickers, and more. I recently did one for Father's Day where I show you step by step on how to draw out your template and have that cut through your Cricut. And I also have this free lettering template for graduation caps. These are all the tools that I use often, but there's definitely so many more and there's a lot of different features and different ways to use your Cricut outside of my paper flowers. I also have a one-on-one -on -one video online class where I could help you set up your machine and make your first cut if you ever need that help. That I will be linking below. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.